An update on our breaking news. There have been two explosions on Moscow's underground metro system. Both blasts happened during the Monday morning rush hour in what authorities believe could have been a coordinated attack, although it's still not confirmed how the explosions happened. At least 22 were killed and 11 wounded in the first explosion at Lubyanka station just before 8 a.m. Moscow time. The station is near to the Kremlin and is beneath the headquarters of the Federal Security Service. A second explosion occurred 45 minutes later at Park Kulturi Station in central Moscow, killing at least 12 people and injuring 15 others. Well, both stations are on the same subway line, which has now been closed in the centre of the city. Police are on high alert across the Russian capital and are investigating whether suicide bombers could be to blame. A terrorism investigation is underway. Emergency crews are at both blast sites. The wounded are being airlifted by helicopter to hospital because the surrounding roads have ground to a halt. Well, uh, we are joined now by RT's Peter Oliver here in the studio. Uh, tell us what you saw. I've just made my way into the studios here in, in central Moscow, right next to the Park Kulturi area, and... It is pretty much a scene of absolute carnage outside. Um, a Monday morning, one of the busiest times of the day, one of the busiest areas of Moscow, completely ground to a halt. One of the, I say, busiest lines on the Moscow metro. Everybody, because of that, the, these two blasts that have occurred on the red line there that goes right through the centre of the city, and used by a lot of people every single day. People are out on the streets walking along. Um, just as I arrived about five minutes ago, Mayor Lushkov had arrived at the Park Kulturi area. He was giving a, a speech there. He was giving, making a statement there. So I guess we'll be hearing from him very shortly. But it is really a scene of complete and utter uh, devastation outside. Now, outside Park Culture, we understand because we've seen some pictures of people who've been evacuated uh, from the metro station. Did you see people's reactions? How are people coping with this? Um, there is really a, a, a shell shocked look on everybody's face. It's really, it's, it's wrong to use the comparison to the footage that everybody's familiar with of 9 11 of people walking through the streets, but that is really what we're seeing out there. I mean, I was first, I live right at the Park Culture area, just over the road from where the metro station is, and I was first. Um, Brought, I was, first came to my awareness that this was all going off when the when the um, the helicopters started flying over. Of course, no fly zone in Moscow. Hearing helicopters in the morning was very very unusual. And um, yes, there's definitely a, a very it's a very bizarre atmosphere outside. Well, we've seen some pictures uh, filmed on a mobile phone of people outside uh, Park Culture milling around, and also we can see pictures here of, of what the metro normally looks like. Just how, how shocking an occurrence is this, do you think, particularly in the rush hour in, in, in Moscow? Anybody that's, anybody that's in Moscow, anybody that's visited Moscow, anybody that's been on the metro will know just how jam-packed the metro stations can get in the mornings at rush hour. Park Culture, one of the busiest stations around, so... Um, I mean, it's, it's unimaginable how this must have been like. And did you see emergency services outside the There's stations, ambulances? And vast amounts of emergency services, uh, security services, military personnel all around, uh, trying to make sure everybody's calm, everybody's okay around outside while they're trying to evacuate those that really need medical attention. Okay, Peter Oliver, for now, thank you very much indeed for joining us here.